Welcome to Pre-K with Miss K. I'm Miss K. We're going to get started. We're going to introduce our other friend that's here for Pre-K today. It's Iron Man. Wave, Iron Man. He's got his spot right there. We're going to start with the calendar and the months of the year. Ready? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Last month was February. Now it is March. It just started spring. The first week of spring. All right, let's see about our days of the week. Can you say them with me? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yesterday was Tuesday. Today's wah, 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 wah. Wednesday. What number is going to come next? 22, 23, 24, 25. So today is Wednesday, March 25th, 2020. For our weather chart today, think about what the weather is like at your house, okay? Is it sunny? Yes or no? Is it cloudy at your house? Yes or no? Is it windy at your house? Yes or no? Is it rainy at your house? Yes or no? Last one, is it snowy at your house? Yes or no? All right, let's check what our schedule is for today. We have circle time, story and science, letter M, math, sight word, a four-step sequence, social studies, concept cards, letter sound worksheet, and a fun at the end. Before we go, we're going to get started with our circle time and do our alphabet song. A says A and M. I know the letter B says B, B, B. Do the sounds. Letter C says K, K, K. I know my alphabet. I know the letter D says D, D, D. I know the letter E says E and F. I know the letter F says I know my alphabet. I know the letter G says G, G, G. I know the letter H says I know the letter I says I am in. I love my alphabet. I know the letter J says J, J, J. I know the letter K says K, K, K. I know the letter L says O, O, O. I know my alphabet. This is going to be our letter today. I know the letter M says mm, mm, mm. I know the letter N says mm, mm, mm. I know the letter O says O and A. I know my alphabet. I know the letter P says P, P, P. I know the letter Q says Qua, Qua, Qua. I know the letter R says Rrr, Rrr. I know my alphabet. I know the letter S says I know the letter T says t, t, t. I know the letter U says U and O. I love my alphabet. I know the letter V says mm, mm, mm. I know the letter W says wah, wah, wah. I know the letter X says x, x, x. I know my alphabet. I know the letter Y says Y, Y, Y. I know the letter Z says Z, Z, Z. I know the sound each letter makes A to Z. I know my alphabet. All right, so that is from Four Weeks to Read. I really like their letter program and their reading program. All right, let's see what's in envelope number one for circle time. We're starting with colors. My color today is orange. Let's spell the word orange. Ready? O-R-A-N-G-E. Orange. Our shape today. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How do we spell star? S-T. 
T-A-R spells star. Put up our star. Our number today is number one. Show me one finger. I have one nose and one mouth. Ah, one. And last our letter today, which we said, letter M. M says M, 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 capital M and lowercase m. Let's put up our one and our m. Okay, we have a community helper today. It's where you go to get your teeth clean. Make sure you brush your teeth every day. We go get a checkup by the dentist who checks our teeth. Okay, let's see. What two pictures belong together? The bottle goes with the baby. Those two pictures belong together. What rhymes with clock? We have sock and peach and bone. Clock rhymes with sock. sock. They end in ock. Clock, sock. What would you use to brush your hair? We would use a hairbrush. Of course, we brush our hair with our hairbrush. We have some adjectives. Someone's been playing out in the mud. The boots are dirty. Their hands are dirty. The dishes are dirty. His clothes are dirty. The opposite of dirty would be clean. If your things are dirty, you need to clean them. One of our pictures does not belong. Bike, wagon, sled. Chair. The chair. chair does not belong. These are things we can ride. Ride a bike, ride in a wagon, ride on a sled. Do we ride on a chair? No, we sit on a chair. Let's see how he's feeling. He feels happy. Why do you think he's so happy? Maybe somebody's tickling him. Maybe he's laughing because someone told him a joke like we're going to do at the end of our pre-K day. All right, last thing up is stretching. Here's our yoga pose for today. You're going to lift one foot up, hold it with your arm, and put the other arm straight up and stretch as high as you can. Great job, friends. We are all done with our circle time. Our story today is about a rainbow. Goodbye, circle time. We have a story about our rainbow today. There it is. Just like I have on my rabbit ears. What makes a rainbow? This is a really special book today because it has a magic ribbon pop-up book. So the author is Betty Ann Schwartz. The illustrator is Donna Turner. Let's see. Little Rabbit and its mother were sitting under a big flower petal. Look, said Little Rabbit, it stopped raining. Yes, said Mama Rabbit, soon we'll see a rainbow. What makes a rainbow, asked Little Rabbit. Why don't you ask your friends, said Mama Rabbit. A ladybug, what makes a rainbow, asked Little Rabbit. Red, said Ladybug, gently closing her red wings. You need red to make a rainbow. Mr. Fox, what makes a rainbow, asked Little Rabbit. Orange, said Mr. Fox, swishing his orange tail. You need orange to make a rainbow. Little Chick, what makes a rainbow, asked Little Rabbit. Yellow, said Little Chick, fluffing her soft yellow fuzz. You need yellow to make a rainbow. Mr. Grasshopper, what makes a rainbow, asked Little Rabbit. Green, said Mr. Grasshopper, rubbing his long green legs together. You need green to make a rainbow. Bluebird, what makes a rainbow, asked Little Rabbit. Blue, said Bluebird, ruffling her pretty blue feathers. You need blue to make a rainbow. Hey, Butterfly, what makes a rainbow, asked Little Rabbit. Purple, said Butterfly, spreading her delicate purple wings. You need purple to make a rainbow. Well, said Mama Rabbit to Little Rabbit, now you know what makes a rainbow. You need rain, colors, Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and sunshine. The end. Our main character was the rabbit. Where did the story take place? Outside. That's right. And rabbit was looking to find out what made a rainbow. That comes to our science question for today. 
about why do we see a rainbow? What an awesome surprise a rainbow is. Rainbows are sunlight and water. When it has just rained or is about to rain, there is water in the air, billions of droplets of water. When the sunlight hits the droplets, it shatters and we see all the colors of light. So the colors of the sunlight are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Violet's the same as purple in our story. Bye, Rainbow! All right, we are done with our story. Next up is letter M. We're going to start with our letter M song. Here's our mouse song. Let's find M. Here he is. The letter M. Ready? Great job. Bye, it. 
All right. Goodbye, Cyborg. It is time for a brain break. We're going to be doing our Minds in Motion brain break. Okay, our first one. I'm going to teach you the command, and then you follow through. The first command is clap. When I say clap, you clap one time. Ready? Clap. Excellent. Stomp. Lift your foot up high. Just one time. Ready? Stomp. All right, now we're going to put it together. See if you can do them both. Clap. Stomp. Great job. All right, next up is our four-step sequence. Here we go. We're going to try to put these pictures in order. Our friend is making a valentine. She's trying to make a valentine. What would come first? When you're making a valentine for your friend, what do you need first? What do you do first? You get all your supplies. So first, we get our supplies. What do we do next? Next, we cut our paper out. Then, once we cut it out, then we glue it on. And last, we give it to our friend. So we have first, get our supplies. Next, start cutting. Then we put the glue, and last we give it to our friend. Great job putting those in order. That was our four-step sequence. All right, next up we have social studies. Today we're learning about a state that starts with an M. Mm, mm, mm. Be thinking, do you know of a state that starts with an M? No. Let's look in my house, Dad. Mm, 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 mm. Our state is Maine. Here it is. Let's see. Maine is the northernmost state in the United States. Right up there. It's known for its rocky coastline, lots of rocks, and nature areas like Acadia National Park. Maine's also known for being at the end of the Appalachian Trail and is home to a lot of lobsters and lighthouses. There is Maine, and Maine starts with what letter? M. Good. Bye, Maine. Goodbye, social studies. All right. Well, let's see what we have next. We have our concept cards. These are really fun. Okay, first things first. Oh, we're reading a book. Look at these two books. They are opposites. This book is closed. This book is open. The opposite of closed is open. Same with the toolbox. The toolbox is closed. The toolbox is open. Can you make a toolbox with your hands? Open and close. Open and close. In your mouth, open, close. Open, close. If your mouth was open like this boy, let's see what our action word is. He is licking. He is licking the cone. What is this boy doing? It rhymes with licking. He is kicking. Kick your foot too. He is kicking. All right, our next concept card. We're talking about manners. Which would be a better choice to have good manners? If mom is talking to another adult, do we quietly wait and wait our turn to talk? Or do we pull on mom and interrupt? Would it be a better choice to stand quietly, hands to ourselves and wait? Or pull on mom and interrupt? The best choice would be to quietly stand and wait until the adult is done speaking. You are right. Okay, let's see what, what other concept cards we have. Here we go. This one is about auditory memory. So you're gonna listen as I read my sentence and try to remember the details. Ready? 
Every fall, Betty makes blueberry and apple pies for the county fair's bake sale. Say it one more time. Every fall, Betty makes blueberry and apple pies for the county fair's bake sale. Question one. Who bakes the pies? Remember her name? It was? Betty. Betty. Question number two. What kind of pies does Betty bake? Blueberry and apple. Blueberry and apple. Number three, when does Betty bake pies? In the fall. Every fall. And last question, why is Betty baking pies? For the county fair. For the county fair bake sale. Great job trying to use your auditory memory and listen for the details in my sentence. Okay, let's see. Pretend you are sleeping. Oh. And wake up. What number comes after three? Three, four. four. Okay, how are these all related? The sun, fire, and hot chocolate are all hot. Hot, they are hot. Boots, sneakers, and socks are all things for that your feet. go on your feet. Good. All right, now listen. When do you pitch a tent? When I need a tent? When you go camping. Why do you go to sleep? So we get rest. So you get rest because you're tired. You need your rest. Why do we recycle? To protect all the Earth's resources. If you had paper and crayons, what can you make? You could make a drawing. Who might live here in the nest? A bird or a pterodactyl. A bird, maybe a pterodactyl lived there a long time ago. All right, stand up. You need to tap your foot. Tap, tap, tap. And wave your arm. Wave, 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 wave. All right, sit back down. We're going to count our, our bluebirds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Which one is an eight in the middle? We stick it through. Was it number eight? Yes, eight bluebirds. Okay, we have a letter today. Puff, 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 puff. P, the pig is in the pool. There were two P pictures, pig and pool. Our animal concept card today also starts with a P. It's puff, puff, porcupine. It says porcupine cannot see very well, but they can taste, hear, and smell. They have 30,000 sharp quills covering most of their body. The quills are released from the porcupine and into attacking predators as a defense mechanism when they're touched. And porcupines are nocturnal, which means that they sleep during the day and come out at night. All right, our big number today is 15. That's a big one. Let's see if we can count these 15 red triangles. One, two, two three. three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. What a big number! A one and a five. All right, our last concept card is a money card. What kind of money is this? This is a penny, and it's worth one cent. A penny, as Abraham Lincoln on it, is worth one cent. Goodbye, concept cards. Let's see what we have next. We're almost done with fun in pre-K today. We have our letter sound worksheet. Before we do that, we're going to do another Mind in Motion brain break. So stand up. Let's see if you remember. Clap, stomp. Good job. All right, have a seat. Our next one for our letter sounds. It says, say the sound of each letter. Circle the pictures that begin with that sound. Our first one is an H. H says what? <sighs> what starts with an H? Hammer, house, and ball. Which two, Iron Man? Hammer and house. Hammer and house. How about our letter P? P says, we have pig, bus, and pencil. Which two, Iron pig. Man? Pig and pencil. pencil. And our last one, W says, wah, wah, wah. 
wagon, hat, and web. What starts with a W? Wagon, wagon, and and web. Great job. Bye. Letter sounds. Okay. We're going to end on a really fun note today. We're going to do a charade game and a joke. Let's see if you can guess what I'm acting out, and then later you can act it out for someone in your house. All right, here it goes. Ready? Drum. I am a drummer. Okay. How do ghosts wash their hair? How do ghosts wash their hair? With shampoo. Gotcha. All right, it's time to say toot, toot, toodles. <laughs> we'll see you next time on Pre-K with Miss K. Bye.